Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jordan Beauty YT and today I have another story time for you guys and this is going to be a really good one and it might be a little long so grab a snack, grab something to drink because it could be long. I don't know. We'll see. So this is the story of when recently when these girls tried to jump me. So before I start, let me just lay out all my cards and introduce the characters to you guys before we start. So you have me, myself, you guys know me. You have my girlfriend, who you guys see on all my social media and my um, vlogs every now and then. And um, I'm just naming like the characters, probably I'll just tell you guys characters of who was involved in the fight. And then you have Ratchet number one. Ratchet number one is the one who was bothering me like the whole night, who like started with me the whole night. Ratchet number one has a really bad weave, like really bad, and she is a catfish. Like she's the type of person, well I don't know her like that, but she's the type of person who like I fear for her to be on Tinder or anything like that because she will catfish your ass because she is not cute and I'm not hating in any kind of way. I'm literally just stating facts. So then we have Ratchet number two, who is her Amazon woman sister. You guys, I am 5'9", and Amazon woman, Ratchet number two, AKA, is taller than me. So whatever, there's nothing wrong with being tall, but just putting that out there, okay? So just to set the mood for you guys, this all started with my friend. I'm gonna use my real friends, I'm gonna use their real names because I mean, if they get mad, they can take that up with me, but I don't think they will. But, um, so it was my friend Irene, it was her birthday, and we all planned to get a bottle service for her, and we were gonna have a table full of bad bitches, it was gonna be a great night. Um, a lot of her, I know her because she worked at Hooters after I worked there, and we kind of met that way, and most of the girls who were there that night work at Hooters as well, or work at Hooters. So this is like a Hooters girl kind of thing. I told you guys, like, I'm really good friends with the Hooters girls still because they're cool as fuck. So she stayed over like all weekend, and that night we were like getting ready or whatever, and she invited her one of her friends over, and we all like got ready or whatever, and then wrote her friend and her sister. Her friend has three sisters, so two of the sisters were here, and then we rode to the club together. And then we got to the club, got our bottles, whatever. Everything was good. Um, so it was me, her, the three sisters. Um, I think one of them had like a boyfriend. There's a couple of guys. Um, then there was these other two girls. I, I don't know if they work at Hooters or not, but they're cool as fuck. Then there was this other little girl that was short, and then my friend, my friends Jade and Kaylin came. And so it was just literally like a table full of bad bitches. Like it was a good vibe. We were all getting along. We were all drinking, having fun. And I was drinking, I was drinking on Patron as usual. But I was drinking Patron and pineapple, and sugar just doesn't mix well with me when I'm drinking. But whatever. So I was getting drunk or whatever. And we're all vibing. And then in come Ratchet number one. And I don't know if she was with somebody, I really don't know. I was drunk, I really wasn't paying attention. But I just know she walked by. So here's how it's set up. It's like this booth of like where you sit. And we're all like sitting like on top of the booth. And then there's the table for bottle service and then you can like walk around. And there's not that much room. There's like literally to walk, there's like this much space. So she walks by us and my friend, I'm not gonna tell you guys which, who was who, because if these girls do watch this video, I'm not trying to start drama with the group and I'm not trying to have them like come at my friends. So whatever, so I'm just gonna say one of my friends was like, oh my God, she like rolled her eyes and I was like, what? She was like, I really don't like her. Like I cannot fucking stand her. And I was like, who, her? And she was like, yeah, I was like, oh, that is an ugly ass bitch. Why is she even over here? You guys, I was drunk and I'm already a blunt person as it is and I already state facts as it is but when I'm drunk I state like I have I already have no filter so there's like but sometimes there's a little bit in me that's like do I really need to say that that's gone when I'm drunk that's out the window and so I was like oh she's ugly like what the fuck like don't worry about her it's like if she starts something with you I got you but I was drunk you guys I was not even trying to like that's how I don't know that's what I was saying and I was like, what the fuck? Like, she's not even cute. Like, she doesn't even fit in over here. But whatever. It's it's nothing. And so then my girlfriend came 
and she was sitting, she like came in the door and she was like, here's like the row and me and my friends are sitting in the middle and then the uh, ratchet number one is sitting right here and my girlfriend had just walked up right here and the ratchet number one was like standing right here or whatever. And so I'm walking by and I was like, excuse me, and she didn't move. So I said, excuse me, it's loud in the club. If you're not gonna move, I'm just gonna walk by. That's kind of what you have to do. In the club when it's loud and no one can hear you, you just have to go if you wanna get anywhere. So I walked by and I like shoved her a little bit, but apparently I found this out after the fact. Apparently I stepped on her, which who knows, I probably did. I was drunk, <sighs> I probably did step on her. And she was like, you're excused. And you guys, if I wasn't drunk, I probably wouldn't have not have like been this rude, but whatever. She was like, you're excused. And I was like, I would have just said I am excused. But I said, I am excused, bitch. And somehow, some way, this is something else I found out after. Apparently, she got I am excused, bitch. From that, she heard I am excused, you ugly ass bitch. Which I didn't say, I said I am excused a bitch. I call everybody a bitch. And if you're gonna be a bitch, you're a bitch. Like, I am excused, bitch, you're being a bitch. Like, chill. And she was like, what, what, getting in my face? I was like, she's like, what did you say? As if I'm not gonna repeat myself, as if I'm scared to tell you what I said, as if I'm gonna be like, oh, I am excused, no. She said, what did you say? I said, I said, I am excused, bitch. Did you not get that? Should I should I repeat myself again? Like I'm I'm pretty sure I'm being loud enough. So she's getting in my face, and I just start laughing. Like that's kind of what I do when I'm like arguing with someone, because I really think they look so stupid. Like people look so ugly when they're pissed off. So it's so funny. So I'm over here, especially Ratchet Number One. <laughs> So I'm over here with my girlfriend, like looking at my girlfriend and I'm, I was literally like pointing at this girl and I was like, do you see her? Like we like face to face and she's like yelling and I'm like, do you see this bitch? Like she's fucking, do, do you see her? Like she's acting crazy. And so then I start to get mad or whatever and I get in her face and I'm like, do I need to like, what? Like, you know, I'm just going off or whatever yelling. And my friend like pulls me away and then Yvonne comes over here and they're like, hey, just calm down. And the guys were like, calm down. Don't let the, that tranny bother you. Don't let that man bother you. They were calling her a tranny and a man because I mean, that's what she looks like. So whatever. And um, my other friend's like, you know, or one of the sisters was like, you know, I don't, I don't even, I have problems with her. Like just, it's okay. Just ignore her, whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. Mind you, like, I'm not trying to get in trouble with the cops and shit because if you watch my vlogs, you know I'm already kind of dealing with some shit. So the night goes on or whatever, and it's towards the end of the night. And you guys, I'm drunk at this point. I'm dancing, whatever. I really think this is kind of closer towards the end of the night. So I go to get a drink, and then my friend's... My two friends, Kat and Jay, came and said bye to me because they were leaving. Me and Yvonne walked back over to the bottle service because she was getting a bottle of water. We walked back to, back over there. And somehow, some way, me and Ratchet number one, and oh, and by the way, like within some type, time frame or whatever, Ratchet number two came. Ratchet number two is her um, alleged sister. So, <laughs> I cracked myself up. Anyways, so... We're sitting, we go back over to the booth and somehow, some way, me and Ratchet number one catch eyes. And she's like, bitch, what are you looking at? So this is when I laid out the facts and said, I'm looking at you, ugly ass bitch. Or something like that. Or her sister got into it and I was like, I'm looking at you, you ugly ass bitches, something like that. And I mean, I'm just stating facts. I mean, it is what it is. And they start yelling or whatever. So I'm like, well, if it's gonna get there, I have my weave-in and I don't wear it a lot. So I have my weave-in. So I'm really not trying to be one of those ratchet bitches that gets in a fight and her weave is everywhere. So I'm like, you know, what do you do when you're about to get in a fight? So I just tie my hair up. You never know, like I tie my hair up. Shit might go down, you know. So I tie my hair up. These bitches are taking off their shoes in a club. You guys, in a club, we're like, our tab was like $1,000 in a club that is nice as fuck, in a club that has a dress code, which I don't know how they got in because ratchet number two was wearing Uggs. Anyways, <laughs> that's beside the point. But one of them started taking off their shoes and I had hot thigh high heel boots on. I'm like, bitch, I will fight in these heels. Like the fuck I look like taking off my shoes 
in a club where you're supposed to be classy, there's glass on the floor, there's drinks on the floor, there's probably throw up on the floor, like, come on, keep it cute, keep it cute, like, tie your hair up and let's get it, but don't take your shoes off, like, the fuck? Anyways, but that, I mean, that's what the Ratchet Sisters do, right? So, we're yelling, and all the guys, all the girls, like, literally everyone was, like, on my side, and because they're stupid ratchet ass bitches and so they get kicked out of the club and we're just chilling or whatever and my friend Irene she was gonna go they were like oh let's go to shotguns and I was like I was drunk and I was horny so I was like I want to go home and have sex with my girlfriend and so she's like okay we'll just wait here for a little bit and we'll all eat together I was like okay and then I was drunk you guys so some of this is a blur and I was like we're just gonna leave or whatever and she's like okay I was like I'll leave the door open for you and she's like, okay, just take my dress and my heels, please. And I was like, cool, I'll take it. So I had her heels, my girlfriend had the dress. By the way, she had like a like a dress that was made out of metal. So if only I had the dress in my hand, but my girl had my girlfriend had the dress. So I have her heels, I have my purse, I have my jacket that I wasn't wearing because I spilled alcohol all over it. Like I wasn't wearing it, but it was like laying down and I like knocked over alcohol on it. So I have my jacket in my hand, I have my purse in my hand, I had her heels in my hand, and Yvonne had the, the dress in the hand. And so we're leaving, we're walking out the door, right? So we're walking out, whatever, and I see these girls and they're yelling, of course, what do ratchet bitches do causing a scene? And they're like, bitch, whatever, the sister, Amazon woman, ratchet number two, was like yelling and shit. Oh, rewind, I forgot to tell you guys, they had one more friend who, was this a big white bitch? I'll insert a photo here of what she looks like. This isn't her, but this is it. this is her twin. And so, of uh, this big busted, crusty ass ratchet trash can white bitch. And you guys are not racist, but she was a white bitch. And she was like um, telling me in the club when we were arguing before they got kicked out. She was like. She, this is her insult to me. And here's a picture of what I was wearing, just so you guys know. And she was like, what did she say? She's like, you're just, she said, this is so funny. This was actually funny. She was like, um, you're at the club wearing lingerie because you're insecure. I'm at the club wearing lingerie because I'm insecure. Okay, first of all, I wasn't wearing lingerie. I was wearing a dress from a store that doesn't sell lingerie. Um, that's number one. Number two, I have worn lingerie to the club, bitch. It's called Halloween. And I'm pretty sure insecure bitches wouldn't wear that because I have friends who are insecure who would not wear lingerie to the club because they're insecure about their stuff. So that made no sense. So I was like, I was, I was literally laughing. I was like, I'm insecure. I was like, bitch, I'm not no insecure. I'm not. I'm not no insecure. Like, don't try me with that shit. Anyways, so fast forward back to where I was. We're walking out the club, and the ratchet number two Amazon woman is like, bitch. So there's all these people, right? Because everyone's leaving the club. There's a lot of people. She comes through the crowd, a crowd of people. Amazon woman. Here she comes. And me, I'm right here. Girlfriend's, like, kind of behind me. And the bitch just swings at me. So I'm like, oh, shit. It's... It's time to go. It's time to go. I had so she swung at me. So I'm like, fuck, it's time to go. My girlfriend ran up on her, threw her on the ground while I'm tying my hair up. She threw her on the ground, and my girlfriend's there, decking her in the face, sitting her in the face, punching her in the face. And then I'm over here, there was a car right here. I'm grabbing the car and kicking that bitch in the head. Cause you guys I was drunk and I was like, so I didn't give a fuck how bad it hurts a bit at that point. You just ran up on me and sucker punched me. And you're kind of trying to run up on me with your sister and jump my ass as if my girlfriend, the love of my life, is not going to jump in and kick your ass too. And is just going to sit here and watch me get jumped. Like, no, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. So I'm over here kicking her in the head, doing my thing, beating this bitch the fuck up. And her sister, who I didn't even know, like, was grabbing me she comes up to me, behind me and grabs me like that like grabs me like that so like she has me it felt like a dude was grabbing me and pulling me off so i thought that was what's happening and you guys like i said i'm already dealing with the cops right now i'm already dealing with shit to where i can't get in trouble right now so i thought it was a cop i didn't know if it was a cop because it wasn't like she for a bitch to be picking you up and pulling you off like that that was a strong ass bitch 
So I turn around and tell this bitch starts like, I don't even know if she was swinging at me or something, but at some point in time I figured out that it wasn't a cop. I think she scratched me. I think she scratched me or some shit. Something I knew it wasn't a girl, a guy or a cop, you know? So I turn around and I'm like, bitch, get the fuck off of me. Push that bitch off of me. Start swinging. They separate us. So I'm over here. And then I walk back over here because I'm like, shit, I don't have none of my shit. Like, and then, during this fucking fight, I threw everything on the ground getting ready to fight this bitch. And so then my girlfriend's still at it. And then this gay guy is like, get off of her. And then there's this other guy in the background telling the gay guy, like, to stop trying to be Captain Save a Hole because we're trying to beat these bitches ass. Meanwhile, there's five cops. Just sitting there watching, which is great because I was not trying to get in trouble. So thank you, you guys, cops, officers, for not arresting anyone that night and not they didn't even break it up. So then there's all these guys and I'm still pissed. So I'm like, get my shit. Like I had my Louis clutch on the ground. I was like, get my fucking clutch, get my shell off the ground. So I get my stuff and I'm still pissed. And I'm like, these bitches like ran off. And I'm like, while they're running their mouth, of course, right? And so I'm over here still mad. I was trying to go at them before they ran off, but that wasn't happening. My friend from Hooters, this guy, he was like a regular there or whatever, and he was like, those are transvestites. Like, don't fuck with them. They're trannies. Like, who cares? They look like men. They're grown-ass men, blah, 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 whatever. Like, he's like, they didn't even hit you. There's nothing on your face. Like, you're fine. You're fine. It is what it, like, you're fine. You don't want to get in trouble. You're already in trouble. Like, don't get in trouble. So it's like, whatever. So then me and my girlfriend go to the car and get in the car and we go home. On the way home, I text my friend and I was like, dude, these bitches just tried to drop me. And no, no, my friend Irene called me and we talked about it. And then my friend, I texted my friend and then my friend called me and we talked about it. And mind you, I'm still drunk. So then, me and my girlfriend go home, take my makeup off, whatever, I'm laying in the bed. Mind you, I told my friend I'd leave the door open. So I left it open, and she came home, like, really quick. One of our friends is drunk as fuck, like, fucking throwing up. She's sick as fuck. She's, she really hit her limit that night. And so she, she's like, they're like dealing with that or whatever. Then my girlfriend goes to deal with that. And then Irene comes upstairs, and she is like, dude, what happened? I'm telling her, whatever. And then... Ratchet number one with the fucked up weave, aka catfish, aka ugly ass bitch, um, texted my friend and was like, um, she said, you can have your, she said something, she was like, you can have your friend go ice her face. And she also said that, well, we'll get to that. She was like, you can have your friend go ice your, you can help your friend ice her face. And so she told me that she said that, and I'm like, what? I was like, mind you, to, the, uh, to this point, after all this happened, I still don't know this bitch's name because she's so irrelevant to me. She'll always be irrelevant. She's relevant enough for me to make this video and make this coin, but that's about it. Like, really? Anyways, so, so I'm like, okay, let me ice my face. Let me, let me ice my face, my face, let me ice, okay. Let's Snapchat her, you got her on Snapchat? Let's Snapchat her, my face, I have no makeup on or nothing. Let's Snapchat her, my face, and see, tell her, and she could tell me where I need to ice it, right? So I Snapchat her, and I, you know, got my phone or whatever, and I'm like, bitch, ice my face where? Where do I need to ice my face? Because I'm still popping, bitch. You didn't hit me in the face, bitch. Her sister swung on me in the face, but she like, like slapped me like it was like a slap so it didn't do nothing it was just like like bitch like it was like that kind of thing it was a sucker punch you know it was not like bitch when you really square up and you really box somebody that's when you're gonna get them but you sucker punched me so you didn't get me bitch you didn't anyways so I snapchat her that or whatever she proceeds to grab ratchet number two aka Amazon woman and big bungalow white bitch <laughs> And Snapchats me with all three, all three of them, cause she cannot defend herself. Obviously, she needs a whole gang of bitches to defend herself, and so she Snapchats me or whatever, three times, right? I did not reply, cause like I said, well, what do I need to argue with these ugly ratchet bitches for? They're not on my level. Like, there's nothing to say. She said something about like, oh, what's your address? Like, baby girl, I don't know how old you are, but you're old enough to get in the club. And you're gonna ask me what my address is? Girl, if you even walked on the premises of this fucking apartment complex, you will be sent away because they will see that you clearly don't belong in a luxury high-rise apartment, baby girl. So, 
what's really good with that like are we in high school are we 15 years old like where you say what's your address let's meet like is that is that what we're doing is that is that really what we're doing really really so why so you could try to jump me again and get your ass handed to you again or so your sister can get her ass handed to you again because you really didn't jump very well because you didn't even really help your sister but pull her out pull me off of her but let my girlfriend still be on the floor fucking her up like that's what really happened you guys i'll be confused anyway so she proceeded to snatch on me three times or whatever and then that girl repeated big bungalow white bitch was like said i was wearing lingerie again bitch i was not i was stunting on you hoes yes that's what i was doing but i wasn't stunting on you in lingerie my ass and titties were covered that night and i'm still popping what's good bitch what's really good okay let me let me bring it down i'm getting a little hype i'm bringing i'm being a little loud so that happened and then i guess my friend texted her back and she got offended because she's like basically she thinks my friend is taking my side which dumb um <laughs> anyways and she's like well if you're gonna take her side and be her friend make that she's like make that be the only light skin you hang out with because clearly she's intimidated by other light skins bitch intimidated where what about you is to be intimidating what about you is intimidating what you are not popping bitch you're not i hate to tell you this but I love to tell you this, you're not. You're really not. Neither one of y'all. Your crew, nothing. I hear your, I hear word on the street is you're like 22, 23, you still live with your mom. Like, what? You're not intimidating. You're not, okay? And I'm not intimidated by light skins. My friends, all my friends are bad. And my three best friends, Alyssa, Andrea, and Sydney, are badass light skin mixed bitches. So what are you talking about? Irregardless, or regardless, whatever the fuck, my bad. I can't speak English right now. So, so then my friend goes to, she wanted to go hang out and go to a house party or something. And I was like, bitch, I'm tired. And she like made me food and shit. I was drunk as fuck, yeah. So I went to sleep. And then the next day, like they were all asleep. They all slept over or whatever. We got baby girl on the couch because she was fucking drunk. She's sleeping on the couch. And then my girlfriend slept up here. And then my friend got home and my girlfriend had to go to work. She got home early in the morning. And so she just slept in the bed with me. And so then we woke up or whatever and it was all cool everything's cool we're talking about what happened and then uh baby girl on the couch came upstairs and we're all talking about what happened and how the night was and she like the girl on the couch she was like out she was done like she was so drunk she didn't even realize what happened because she was really drunk and so we just like caught her up on what happened or whatever and we got some food or whatever and then she left the sister left Baby girl is what I was calling her, so I'm just keep calling her that. She left, and then like a couple hours later, no, I was asleep. I remember me and I, like, she was on the phone and I was taking a nap. And I woke up because she was on the phone, and she was talking to, I'm gonna call her, I'm gonna just call her sister, the sister. So, to the sister, I know her name, but I don't know if, I don't, me and her had just met, so I don't know if she wants, cares if I use her in the video, her name. But, so, she was like, Bitch, like apparently this girl was going off and going off on Twitter. And you guys, I don't even use my Twitter. Like I don't even have the app download on my phone. Like if you guys go see my Twitter, like there's not a tweet for like months. So, and I don't follow anybody that uh, has recently been in my life on Twitter. Like I don't, I just don't use Twitter like that. And so I didn't see it. And so she's like, this girl is like tweeting and she was like, all you fake bitches, blah, blah, blah. Oh, mind you guys, that night on her story, when she snapped out of me three times on her story, she's like, fuck all you fake bitches, fuck that bitch, this, this, and that. She deleted all the ones she said. She left the one where she was talking shit about me, but she deleted the ones when she was talking shit about all her friends, right? She deleted those. Honey, rule number one to being a bad bitch i'm gonna make this video on how to be a bad bitch but rule number one always be able to back it up if you're gonna talk about if you're gonna run your mouth be able to back it up don't go back and delete it where do they do that i don't care if you're drunk if you were drunk or whatever you when you especially when you're drunk you tell the truth when you do shit like that you keep that on there 
and you get ready to face the consequences since she want to talk all so much shit and run that mouth. So apparently she deleted that, but she was good enough to run her mouth on Twitter. So apparently her and sister started subtweeting each other and then sister, she don't play that shit. So she's like, no, I'm gonna call this bitch. What's really good? I'm gonna FaceTime this bitch. What's really good? Why are you talking shit? And so she talks to her, whatever. <laughs> you guys, this is where shit flips, right? This is so funny. She where her shit is the fan, right? So she was like, I just, I feel really hurt. She was crying. I didn't shed a tear during this whole thing. For what? on bitches like no I'm really hurt that all of you guys took her side by the way two of my friends that were there she's like they took her side bitch I've been friends with them before we knew you existed or they knew you they knew you existed and they were never friends with you they never liked you so I don't know what you got twisted in your head but two of the girls that you mentioned when you were crying and giving her a sob story they were never friends with you like you, they were the ones who did like they rolled their eyes when you walked in the club because they don't like you so, Anyways, so she's crying or whatever, boo-hoo, cry me a river, whatever the fuck, and she, because she lost her friend, she thinks, or whatever, and I don't know, she was saying that, and she's like, well, sister was like, apparently you jumped her, blah, 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 this and this and that, um, blase, blase, and she was like, no, her her girlfriend jumped me. What? What? When I heard this, I was like, hold up, I think I have a headache here because I don't remember waiting outside the club for you two, or you, ratchet number one. I don't remember waiting outside of the club for you and beating your ass with my girlfriend. We're not petty. My girlfriend is 26 years old. She's a grown ass woman. I'm almost 20 years, 21 years old. I'm a grown ass woman. I fucking have a job. I have a life. I have bills to pay. I have fucking all this shit. What makes you think I have time to wait outside for you to beat your ass and jump you? I've never jumped a bitch a day in my life and I never got jumped a day in my life because you were unsuccessful so I didn't get jumped. Like, I don't do that shit. I fight when need be. So if someone's gonna try to attack me, I'm swinging back and you will get your ass beat. It is what it is. But I don't ever try to, I will never, I, it's rare for me to throw the first punch. It's very rare. Like if you see me about to fight someone, this is literally, you'll see me with my hands behind my back in their face and saying, what's really good is the, the line I always use. Cause I'm like, what's really good. If you have something to do, do it. And we'll, we'll squash it right now. Like a dude, you know? So whatever. And so apparently she said, we jumped her. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck. And you're, I don't know what's going on in your head to think that we did that like you you literally were waiting outside the club and your sister ran up on us and you ran up on us like or on me but thinking that my sister's not gonna or my girlfriend's not gonna do anything right so that's what that happened and then she was like well you need to call Irene and you need to apologize to her but don't be calling her with no bullshit on her birthday and I don't know if this girl called her or what that's what happened and she thinks all her friends took my side but like honestly if these girls like really liked you why would they take my side if they obviously is a common denominator and my friend was telling me how this girl um got beat the fuck up at a club and the girl fucked her up and she went back and told people that she got jumped like that's a snake ass bitch like Everyone takes the L every now and then. I took an L from my little sister. Like, everyone takes the L. My little sister is bigger than me, but I take an L. Everyone takes the L, and you feel the need to lie about it. Like, you must have woke up, and you need to tie your face or your sister's face, and now you want to say, we jumped you. But no, baby girl, that's not how this works. Why am I calling you baby? You ain't baby girl. You ain't baby girl status. No, ratchet number one. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. But yeah, guys, that was my long ass story. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about the time these bitches attempted to jump my ass and it didn't fucking work. But um, yeah, to all my friends watching the video who were involved, thank you guys for being there for me and um, not seeing and see and seeing through the bullshit. And you bitches are riders. You guys are cool as fuck. It was a good night. 
I, I wasn't phased by it. I had a good night. I woke up in a good mood the next morning. Like, my friends were all here at my place. And where were yours, bitch? But yeah, guys, um, for all the new subscribers, if you came to watch this story time, I do lots of story times and I will continue doing story times. So just subscribe and like and leave a comment and go check out my other videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.